Fashola justifies and 701 BN approved for Nigeria both electricity trading NBET Fashola justifies and 701 BN approved for Nigeria both electricity trading NBET individuals and organizations engaging in acts of energy theft meter bypass and vandalism of electrical infrastructure are in for tough Times as the Enugu Electricity Distribution Company EDC, has inaugurated its Special Investigation and Prosecution Task Force on Electricity Offenses SIPTEO. The event, which took place at the company's corporate headquarters, was presided by the Acting Managing Director, CEO, Mr. Paul Okiki, in company of a member of the Board of Directors, Dr. Steve Dyke, the Technical Advisor to the Board, Mr. Yadish Kumar, the company's Transformational Consultant, Mr. Oki NWOSU, Head of Task Force, Ms. Chin Anya Okafor, and other members of executive management of the company. Oki, he charged the team to be professional in the discharge of their responsibility, stressing the need for high level of integrity and respect for human rights. He said the high prevalence of meter bypass and energy theft in the southeast has been a serious challenge to EEDC, as the company has consistently recorded losses in its revenue on a monthly basis, a situation that is currently threatening the performance and sustainability of the company. It is therefore expected that with the inauguration of SIPTEO, the rate of theft and vandalism within the network will be reduced and this will bring about increase in revenue and more efficient service delivery to electricity customers in the southeast, he said the leader of the 18-man special squad, SP. Spencer Taizawa, assured the management of EEDC that his men, who have been carefully selected for this job, would be responsible and professional in the discharge of the assigned task. EDC has therefore warned all those involved in this criminal act to be ready them, as there will be no sacred cow. No comments yet. Copyright 2018 Guardian Newspapers. All rights reserved.